Hey YouTube, okay, I got a comment from a Leps Metter. Got it here on the screen for you. It says, I have a problem with your analogy rebuttal. The parable starts with the kingdom of heaven is like, therefore, in heaven is where angels are, not men. A story, therefore, is a story of something happening in heaven, but told to men in a way they can grasp it using wheat and tares. What we got sowed among the heavenly dwellers, answer, rebelliousness and insurrection. Some were cast out, were others carried away captives, question mark. And here's my reply to Lep's Metter. Think about Jesus' rebuttal then. As he explained it, Matthew 13, 36, 43, King James Version. Then Jesus sent the multitude away and went into the house, and his disciples came to him, saying, Declare to us the parable of the tares of the field. And he said unto them, He that soweth the good seed is the Son of Man, which happens to be Jesus. You know the creator of all things I've been telling you guys over and over and over, but continue. The field is the world. Again, the field is the world. Jesus' own words, again, the field is the world, not heaven, like this leps better says. <clears throat> Continuing. The good seed are the children of the kingdom, but the tares are the children of the wicked one. The enemy that sowed them is the devil. The harvest is the end of the world, and the reapers are the angels. As therefore the tares are gathered and burned in a fire, so shall it be at the end of the world. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity, and shall cast them into the furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. Then shall the righteous shine forth as the sun in the kingdom of their Father, who hath ears to hear, let him hear. Emphasis now, this just exemplifies how little these Klekites know about the scripture. You know, point being that Jonathan Kleck could not teach anything without a Strong's Concordance. And understand that a Strong's Concordance is not an inspired book. I've proven over and over and over again that you can make to use a Strong and make scripture say anything you want because you've got so many choices and words. Another uninspired book that he uses to try to prove this serpent seed doctrine and Satan is the creator of man is the Targum Jonathan. I've also done videos on that, proving that to be total fiction. I've, I've shown Hebrew scholars, you know, pointing that, pointing it out and just blowing him out of the water. But then on top of all of this, I've got YouTube squashing my videos, burying my videos. You know, it's like they go up and they hit a ceiling and that's it. You know, they, they, I post them, they take off, and they, they hit the wall, and they just stop. I get comments. Uh, I don't get comments anymore. I don't get notifications of comments. I don't, everything is screwed up. You know, it feels like what I've got here is I've got the enemy working against me every step of the way. And on top of it, i got trolls like this guy who has a person who has absolutely... Uh, no content whatsoever on their channel. I mean, nothing. They don't have nothing. But he's referencing this video that I did called uh, <clears throat> Don't Neglect Defeats Himself with Scripture. Watch till the end. And you can see here on the screen, hopefully, I've got it dialed up as high HD as I possibly can. And another scripture he put forth to them saying, The kingdom of heaven is like unto. Okay, so again, he's totally just missing the boat. He doesn't know scripture. 
and um, I, I flat quoted it for you. I don't know what to do. I'm, I'm, I'm getting very, very disgusted with this whole scene. Um, you, you know, how can I prove this guy wrong if my stuff is getting buried and uh, I'm not getting comments and I can't interact with my audience? So with that, I just wanted to share with this with you. I'm sorry if I'm a little frustrated today, but hey, man, you know, this is not a level playing field. I'm getting pretty fed up with it. So, if I can't get more support as far as sharing my stuff, um, you know, I'm just, I'm just thinking of, I'm just thinking of just what, you know, going fishing or working more around the house here. I got, you don't even know how, how busy I am. So hopefully you guys can feel my pain and uh, do what you can do to help me get the word out because I've busted collect so many times and I've quoted so many scriptures and proven it. I, I don't see how anybody could not I agree with it and understand it because it comes right out of the word and, and, and he, but that's what his trolls say he, well he quotes the word no he quotes a little bit of word but he uses the strong definitions to twist and manipulate the words there's a big difference between what Cleck is doing and what I'm doing and not only that we humans will judge angels one day okay and Cleck has been warned and warned and warned I'm not the only one doing it many 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 people are doing it and I gotta tell you the way I'm feeling today if, I, if it comes up that I'm the guy judging Clack, it's thumbs down, buddy. Thumbs down. You go to the pit because you're leading people astray. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. You guys have